City Council set to vote tomorrow on whether to override the mayor's veto on the controversial How Many Stops Act. But before they vote, Mayor Adams took a few council members on a ride along with the NYPD. Robert Moses is live at City Hall with the latest on this controversial bill. Good morning, Robert. To Shawnee and Dan, good morning to you. Despite that ride along, the council is still expected to oppose the mayor here tomorrow. The mayor says he fears that paperwork will will actually overwhelm police officers and cost them time to do patrol work. But most city councilors say they're most concerned about transparency. Tomorrow, city council members plan to override Mayor Eric Adams' veto of the How Many Stops Act, which would require police officers to record information about investigative stops of members of the public. Officers would have to document a person's race, age, and gender. The mayor, a longtime cop, argues the bill would burden officers with paperwork. <laughs> He invited some council members with him on a ride along Saturday night in an attempt to sway them. One of them who was invited, Youssef Salam, an exonerated member of the so called Central Park Five, did not attend. The night before, hey, hello. I'm Officer Protector from the 2 6 Precinct. A police officer pulled over Salam. Right after the stop, Salam criticized the officer for not providing a reason for it and said it highlights the need for greater transparency to ensure stops are constitutional. The NYPD quickly yeah, released this body cam video. Council member This district, district now. Oh, okay. Uh, Have a good one. Okay? Yeah. yeah, you're working, right? Take care, sir. Indeed, the video shows the officer did not provide a reason for the stop, but he wasn't required to do so. In a written well, the statement, the NYPD sure. said the officer stopped Salam because he had been driving with tinted windows that are not legal in New York State. They are in Georgia, where his car is still registered. During Saturday's ride along, the mayor praised both Salam and the officer who pulled him over. We saw really a picture perfect <coughs> example how civilian and police officers responded. The How Many Stops Act does not cover encounters like the one Friday night because officers already must document those. But the stop highlights the tension between those on opposing sides of this issue. Some of Salam's fellow council members criticized his initial characterization of the stop. Robert Holden from Queens called on Salam to resign as chairman of the Public Safety Committee. And Joe Borelli from Staten Island said, what is sad is taking an incident where someone cuts you a break, does right by you, and then misrepresenting the truth to get them in trouble. Yesterday, when we caught up with Salam at an unrelated event, he declined to talk about the stop. Um, no comment. I don't have any comment right now. All right. So far, the NYPD has not revealed the race of the officer who pulled over Salam. Later on this morning, public advocate Jumani Williams, who has been one of the leading proponents of the How Many Stops Act, will hold a news conference alongside a former NYPD lieutenant. Tashani, back to you. Robert, thank you.